I did learn that I really am not, I don't have a desire to live fully off grid. Hey y'all. Hey. So, I think I was rolling my eyes. We need to start. <laughs> Hey y'all. Hey. So we were talking with some friends last night about how blessed we are, how thankful we are to be out of the campers, how thankful we are for this house. Um, even this is a small house <clears throat> for a family of 10, but we have barely noticed. I mean, really, it has just been, it's been amazing to be in a house and we were talking about it and, um, Actually, Jenna and I were talking the other night. Yeah, I was thinking about it, and then I brought it up when we were, yeah. we were discussing it. We were talking about how it seems like so long ago when we lived in the campers. Like it's kind what, of surreal. It's only been, like this Friday was three weeks, right? Four weeks. Four weeks, yes, four weeks. So it's been a month. And um, like when I go up to the farm, and if I need to go in the campers for something, like I took a friend up there the other day to show him the campers. He was interested in the possibility of purchasing one, one of them. And... Uh, I walk in there and I'm like, man, how did we do this? How did we really live in campers for 23 months? Um, we did. How? It, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know how we did it, um, other than the grace of God. Our friends, yeah. like they, they said, we all are amazing, and I was like, no, no really, we're not, <laughs> because it's not us. It just had to be God's grace that uh, allowed us to be able to tolerate. That up. Can you turn that? Hey, will you close that damper on the stove, baby? Yeah, it's hot. Jenna wanted ambiance, but it is hot. No, ambiance right. makes me sweat right now. I but, changed it to a t-shirt because of the ambiance. Yes. I had a sweatshirt on. I was like, um. But but no. Um. So we are thankful for the experience. Yeah. Um. It is. It has. Um, it was definitely what God provided in that time period. Yes. It was what we were supposed to do. And the evidence is there about the fact that we were able to do it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, for sure. Um, it, uh, we became creative and we figured a lot of things out. Uh, <laughs> but uh, somebody actually had posed a question on a, online, like on a Facebook group, and they were considering, they were a larger family, they were considering building a house on some land and living in a camper. They had several options, and it was like a pre-existing house, smaller, you know, amount of land or buy more land and build and and people she's asking for advice and um what i thought of what my advice was if you have a definitive and insight if you go into it with we have a plan we're going to build a house and we know this is going to take us a year or 18 months or whatever time period but you have like the actual end insight um and you have a plan then then go for it <laughs> Yeah. But it, if it's just a, oh, we're just going to do this until, you know, because we had a plan, but our plan yeah. fell through. It, um, I mean, really, I mean, I guess if, if God is telling you to do it, well, yeah, do it obviously. because his grace will be on it. Yeah. But if it's just like some wild, willy nilly idea, willy -nilly, harebrained idea, that's <laughs> exactly what it is. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> no. it, it was rough. Like, I, I'm, yeah. we, we didn't really talk about it. We, we tried to stay positive, we wanted to be encouraging. Uh, in our videos, yeah. But there, there, we were. There were many times we thought we were at our wits' end, and um, we it was coming. Things were coming to a head. Um, I guess right before the first of the year. I mean, we yeah. were just. It was just mentally. It was getting overwhelming, and um, I mean mentally and physically. Just the physical aspects of it, the mental aspects. Just it was becoming yeah. overwhelming, and. I think that we really were almost at our wits end this time because yeah. then God, God opened literally. the doors literally yeah overnight here's your house yeah. and um, so I think it was the when we came to that moment of realization of we really can't build on this farm like no. for us personally there somebody can but yeah. um, just we talked about that before with our financial parameters and things like that it's just not something that we can do um, and I think once that solid reality hit it mm -hmm. was instantly like we're crazy why are we still in a camper what are we yeah. doing here you know we've got to something has to give but we we were in a position to make anything give and we just prayed and we said hey we're going to sell a farm and it, we'd love to be able to rent a house this is you know the conversation we have with each other we'd love to rent a house yeah, which close we talked by about. and all of that and then overnight it was literally a house without rent <laughs> down literally down the driveway from our farm that's we can stay here until we find our next place. And yeah. 
that's crazy to me and it was it just is. but moving into the house it's just been it feels like we've been here for a very long time even it does it feels so homey yeah. it, it's um for the first time in years yeah. uh we feel at home and, and it's not just this house it's it's uh the area that we live in we yeah. really like this area we really uh, we're very connected. The we're kids very, are very connected. connected. We have real friends here. Yeah, great um, church. Yes, a um, great church. We can, we can put down roots and be happy here. You know, and that's what. Um, and this area was not on our radar <laughs> at all. It was not. I mean, we had looked, we had overlooked this area, um, many many times. Barely even had discussed it. Yeah. I mean, we we would look past right. this area and on farther east. Yeah. Um, West, I mean, west. not east, west. west. Yes. Yeah. And um, we originally thought we would end up in Tennessee. We did, um, in East Tennessee. And that's east why I was Tennessee, thinking yeah. east. But um, um, but God, God showed knew up what he was doing. Yep. Yeah. We have been doing a lot of work up at the farm. Mm -hmm. We have made a lot of progress. Packing and throwing away and... Burning. <laughs> the campers are moved. Um, we're going to clean those up and list them for sale soon. I took down the outdoor kitchen. I took down the outdoor kitchen. I opened up the barn. So um, things are moving along with the farm. Um, one of the neighbors that is a farmer has actually made an offer on the farm. We haven't even listed it yet. Uh, we had planned to list it and so we're, we've made a counter offer. Um, so we don't know that might be, it might just be that simple, that quick and that easy. <laughs> So, um, if he does, it would be that would be a an quick ideal and, situation, and, yeah. I think. For part everybody. of our part of the stipulations of our counter offer is that we can keep our cows on the bottom half of the farm where I have them right now, and our, um, stuff, and can stay our stuff can stay there until we find another farm we and we can use, use that barn to milk in. And our chickens have to stay, right yes. There I mean, basically, that. so basically, we can leave our stuff until we find. But our, he would have the option of using the hay field, what we call the hay field, yeah. for his cows. It's mm -hmm. already fenced in and has water, so um, there's actually a gate between his property and ours. So right. He could use that. He could just right open away. it straight up and put his cows over there. Yeah. But he um, he acted like that would be no problem, so he's supposed to let us know something soon about that. Um, so y'all be praying about that. If it's, that works out, um, then we'll be. Of course, if we get to closing and all that, then we will be on the hunt. For a farm. For a farm. With a house. With a house. <laughs> With a house already on it. Yes. Non-negotiables. Non probably a big house. Yes. Non-negotiables <laughs> are a house on the farm and a water source. Like, like a, creek. a creek that's actually flowing yeah. that is enough to keep the cows watered that the kids can play in. Uh, things that like, like that kind of creek. Not just yeah. a little spring that mostly dries up in the summertime. Yeah. We have one of those here and um, we really running water like a creek type. yeah it's i mean the cattle flowing, waters flowing, are great yeah flowing water is great but um and the, i mean the cattle waters are great yeah. the automatic ones except for when the power goes out there's no water pump or when it or freezes, if the water freezes and the cows can't get water the, there's no water we've ran into yeah. that and i had thankfully i was able to get it thawed yeah. quickly two, but, two things one thing is the the floats is that what they are yeah the floats froze um, yes. Before the before the pipes had frozen, the floats themselves froze, and the cows couldn't figure out uh, that they could. Bust well, they couldn't they physically. Couldn't I had to go stomp them yeah. to get them broken so they loose. So they had to bust it. They couldn't get access water. Like then. three days in a row. Yeah. So. so they were. So we were having to make sure <clears throat> we could. <coughs> That's right, awesome. Had to make sure that he was busting those so that they would have access to water. And then when the um, pipes and everything froze, there was no water for the cows, and that was yeah. like, oh, I mean. We got it thawed within a couple of hours. Yeah, we had it thawed so, and they were but, fine, but it was just one of those, like, if you have a flowing creek, that's not a problem. Yes. The cows have water. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, anyway, um, we are grateful. I mean, I guess that's yeah. the main thing. And it, it just, the whole, I mean, people want to know, how did y'all live in those campers? And I don't know, <laughs> other than the grace of God, yeah. because... Like, There's a path laid before us it and we was. walked it. That's yes. really what it is. And when, when God lays a path before you and you choose to be obedient and walk it out, He gives you the grace His to... His grace is sufficient. Yeah. And He gives you the grace. And then you come out on the other side and you're like, how in the world do we do that? You know? And yeah. 
when I'm up there cleaning up stuff and looking at the way <coughs> we lived and just I'm like what I mean we what? didn't have a working refrigerator so everything had to go out to the cooler it was just like just all the little the, the washing our clothes in the barn yeah. and then bringing our washer and dryer in the house and realizing how gross they <laughs> like they were just dirty I mean not like but they just had dirt and stuff on them and we just had to scrub them and and realize we hadn't washed any of our clothes and warm water or hot water and a year and a half because we didn't have hot water in the barn so just being able to do stuff like that has things you don't think about until you actually have them again you're like yeah. oh well this is really nice like you know it's been over a year and a half the washing of the laundry in the barn right yeah well it was since we moved to this farm because we okay. lived in the campus That's at right. the old yeah. farm yeah, and yeah. we were still the washer dryer was still in the house at the old farm yeah um but and having a kitchen I'm like so enjoying being able to just make bread and cook and things because like in the camper the space was so small that it's like we lived in the whole space so in order for me to ever do anything in there it's like you had to completely clean everything up and rearrange and and it was exhausting and it was just there was like no motivation it was half a day's work just to get ready to yeah. start and then if you're making bread, bread right something. it's something that you don't you need more than half a day so it's just yeah. it's a lot um the outdoor kitchen did help a lot once we had that set up as far mm -hmm. but then once winter time hit the outdoor kitchen wasn't really yeah we couldn't um, use the sink or anything sink because it stayed up, frozen yeah. most yeah. of the time so we were able to use the stove outside um but other than that it was you know the, the sink itself wasn't really usable but mm -hmm. there's just a lot of things that you know, hot water in a shower that lasts more than seven to eight minutes. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every time we take a hot shower, it's like that's actually hot and lasts a long time. It's like, wow. And then we can actually let, we can, the kids can all back to back take showers, you know, and it's not like, oh, one person takes a shower and then you have to wait an hour for it to heat up and the next person and, and it's yeah. always hot. We don't really run out of hot water. Nope which is really nice. So it is. We don't run out of propane. The things that we took for granted many years ago, well, not many years ago, two years ago, yeah. just the normal everyday things that we took for granted, uh, now we are so thankful for. I did learn that I really am not, I don't have a desire to live fully off grid. It's not, I'm not one that wants to be without running water or water electricity in my house. <laughs> no. I mean, we could do it, but I, I well, really we have like, done it we've done it, yeah. I, I really enjoy being able to plug my appliances in and, and use them and have running water and all of that. Like, definitely am not. I like, uh, yeah, I like those things. Me too. <laughs> Modern homesteading. Yes. It's kind of just we want to share our hearts with you and just yeah. talk about how, how blessed we are, how happy we are to be able to actually be in a real house. Um, the relief, nice, the relief that we have. The kids have just, it's so great for the kids and we all have just been able to sit in the living room together comfortably. Nobody has to pull up a five gallon bucket to sit on. <laughs> that was our joke. We're like, pull up your bucket, come yep. have a seat. Um, and and just, just being able to function in a much more normal manner. I don't yeah. know if we've ever been normal. Home settings not Probably real not. normal, but just because it's common doesn't make it normal. I don't like it. Actually, I prefer to think that what we do is way more normal historically than what modern society is doing yeah but that's a topic for another day exactly <laughs> it's a whole can of worms um but anyway we appreciate y'all thanks for hanging out with us and um if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video give us a thumbs up up so youtube will know that you're enjoying this comment below let us know have you lived in a camper or tiny house Are you thinking about it thinking about it um, yeah, just we don't want to discourage you. No, follow God. This isn't to discourage you. Follow God, and if you have an end in sight or God has told you to, then go for it. But if it's just a hey, I'm just gonna go live for years on out in a camper on a, it's probably not. Yeah, maybe one person alone would be okay, but not for our family. <laughs> it just was not a great, great thing. But anyway, comment below, and we will catch you guys on the next one. See y'all later.